All right, it is time to connect the dots when we make sense of stories that might be a, maybe a little tougher to break down. You know, the feud between Taylor Swift and music executive Scooter Braun heating up as he now holds the rights to her music, which sounds confusing, but this happens actually quite often. All the time. All the, all the time. So let's connect the dots. A post from Taylor Swift has revealed almost all of her old music is now owned by a man she hates. So how can such a powerful artist not own her own hits? Let's connect the dots. First up, how all this bad blood started. Swift signed a contract with the Big Machine label group when she was 15 years old. We don't have all the details, but it appears they got the rights to her masters. Now, Scooter Braun has bought the Big Machine label group and Swift's songs. Braun is a notorious figure in the music industry. He's represented Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, and Kanye West. In her post, Swift calls Braun a bully, blaming him for some of West's low blows. Despite Swift's reputation as a groundbreaker, that deal she signed at 15 sounds like a pretty traditional contract, giving the record label rights to recordings for the length of the copyright. In exchange, the label gives the artist an advance. Call it what you want, but now artists are getting more savvy, retaining their rights and cashing in on streaming. Connecting the dots, I'm Stephanie Whitfield.